wall a wall is a vertical member the length that is its width of which exceeds four times the thickness then it is considered as a wall the primary function of a wall is to enclose or divide space of a building to make it more functional and useful walls also provide supports to floors and roofs walls are basically divided into two types load bearing walls and non load bearing walls each type may further divide into external walls and internal walls now let us see the difference between load bearing wall and non load bearing walls load bearing walls are those which are designed to carry loads transferred through roof slab beam etc to the foundation safely in addition to their own weight in case of non load bearing walls they carry their own weight only does not support floor roof loads above it next load bearing walls generally support loads above and in most of the cases the external walls of a buildings are load bearing walls and non load bearing walls generally serves as divide walls or partition walls within a building and even all partition walls are not non load bearing walls in some cases load bearing partition wall is also constructed which is called internal walls and external non load bearing walls also constructed which are commonly seen in frame structures which are called as panel walls next load bearing walls are considered as structural element but non load bearing walls are not a part of structural frame systems next load bearing wall supports structural members like beam slab roof on above floors but in case of non load bearing wall it does not support any structural element which is constructed to divide the space within the building next load bearing walls are designed to take load and these are not cost effective but in case of non load bearing walls are built lighter to reduce the dead load of the structure and it is cost effective next once load bearing walls are constructed without any safety measures and proper supports the walls cannot be removed if in case the load bearing walls are removed without any measures the part of the structure will collapse but in case of non load bearing walls one can remove the walls without endangering the safety of the building next the thickness of load bearing walls is larger than the non load bearing walls non load bearing walls are thin walls next based on the materials used for the construction the types of load bearing walls are solid masonry walls precast concrete walls engineering brick walls stone walls etc and in case of non load bearing walls based on material used the types are hollow brick walls brick walls hollow concrete block walls concrete block walls etc next the best example for load bearing walls are almost all external walls in a building which are constructed are load bearing walls and shear wall is also considered as load bearing wall and the best example for non load bearing wall is partition wall which is constructed inside the building next let us see how to identify whether a wall is load bearing or non load bearing wall in a house generally when the wall runs perpendicular that is 90 degree to the joists they are most likely to be load bearing walls if the wall runs parallel to the floor joists above it is considered as non load bearing walls or if there are beams or columns that go directly into the foundation check to see if these beams or columns interface directly with any of the basement walls if they do then we can assume that these are load bearing walls or check if you find beams or columns in the basement and there is a wall directly above these structures then there is a chances that the walls on the floor above is load bearing wall or if the walls that are directly beneath the beams and columns on the floor below more than likely those are load bearing walls non load bearing walls may be constructed in absence of beams and columns also these are the few checks to find whether a wall is load bearing or not please like share and subscribe to civil today thank you for watching